Hey, have you ever been in a situation where you needed a whole briefcase full of cash, but you didn't know how much money will fit in a briefcase? Well, I'm John P, and this is Geek Beat. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Lumosity. The other day I was watching one of those movies where someone had to pay a huge ransom to get their kid back from a kidnapper, or maybe it was a drug trade or an illegal arms deal or something. Anyway, my buddy was like, how much money do you think is actually in that briefcase? At first I was just gonna give him a smart ass answer like, they just told you what the uh, ransom is, you moron, how much do you think is in the briefcase? But then I thought about it for a second and I realized I have no idea how much cash could actually fit in a briefcase. But now I wanna know. So like any rational human being, I went to the bank and got this $25,000 stack of actual $100 bills. I also stopped and picked up this standard looking attache briefcase that's like the ones you see in the movies. So let's do a little math, shall we? Okay, the actual measurements I get on this real stack of used $100 bills is about one and a quarter inches high by two and five eighths inches kind of tall and about six and a quarter long. Now a brand new stack coming from the treasury might take up a little less space, but this is what a real stack of bills looks like. Okay, let's take a close look at the attache case. This one is pretty standard and the interior dimensions come to about just over 17 and a quarter inches wide, a little over a foot tall, and well, with the bottom and the top, we're looking at about four inches deep. So with this size briefcase, it looks like I could get maybe, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, about 12 stacks of bills in here. So if we only put a single layer of $25,000 stacks, we'd have $300,000 in the briefcase. And that gets you a pretty nice house. But since we've got four inches of depth to work with, we can do a little better than that. By the way, you do know that the only people who can get their hands on a big bag of money like this are drug dealers, Jay-Z, and people with big brains, right? Well, if you want your brain to grow, you could either inject yourself with liquid gamma radiation or you could use Lumosity. One has slightly negative side effects. The other is actually fun. Lumosity tricks you into improving your memory and growing your medulla oblongata by challenging you with little mental games, all the while tracking your performance and giving you data so you can see how much smarter you're getting. Their games are based on neuroscience that someone smarter than you probably came up with. Probably because they've been playing more of the games than you have. So head on over to lumosity.com forward slash geekbeat and get your free account. Then you can abandon your life of crime and earn big briefcases full of cash just because you're a genius. Not to mention, you're good looking. Lumosity.com forward slash geekbeat. So we know we can fit 12 stacks inside the briefcase from a width and height perspective. And since we got over four inches of depth, that means we can also go at least, oh, one, two, I'd say three stacks deep, which brings a total up to $900,000 plus a little breathing room. Of course, the magic number is always a million. So that means we need to cram another $100,000 in this suitcase or around $8,300 per stack. Well, it just so happens that a stack of $8,300 takes up about half an inch or so. So if we add that to our three stacks of $25,000, we'll have $83,300 in just over four inches of space. Well, I don't have a million dollars worth of cash here, but if I did, I'm sure I could get this briefcase closed. So basically, you can fit exactly a million dollars in your standard attache case. 
What do you think? That's kind of weird, isn't it? I mean, how exactly is that a coincidence? Anyway, when they're talking about $5 million ransoms in the movies, now you know how many briefcases full of cash it's going to take. Oh, and by the way, altogether the cash is going to weigh 22 pounds, and if we stack the pile up into one stack, it'll be four feet high. That's it for today's Geek Beat. You know, if you enjoy the show, the best way to let us know is to subscribe. And the next best way is to share it on Google+, Facebook, or Twitter, and tell your friends also. I'm John P. Thanks for watching.